G'day everyone, welcome to another video. Oh man, so tired. <laughs> We've got to this point where only five days away from pre-release. We're like 12 days away from the first Ed release, the official first Ed release, an unlimited release, 47 days away. That is gonna fly by, people. Don't worry about it. Looks like a lot, but it's not, yeah? Charity Drive, 90 more to go. 10 more and I release that first Ed Monarch box out into the public for a random draw for anyone that compete. 90 more and I release two more after that, all right? But let's get onto it, these illusionist cards. Oh my goodness. They're pro oh, I don't know. It's Illusionist is turning out to be quite a class indeed. Let's just go through some of the cards. And me as a ninja player, I'm pretty scared of all these phantasms. But let's take a look. Phantasmoclasm. Look at the defending hero's hand and choose a card. They put it on the bottom of their deck, then draw a card. Man, you're already costing them one card. Cost you two cards to play this, but you're drawing back up. It's pretty much your on evens or even a plus one. You've taken one out of their hand. It's pretty fantastic. Phantasmoclasm, if it's defended by a non-illusionist action card with six or more, destroy Phantasmoclasm and close the combat chain. So, you can be looking at their hand. You can be taking out that six attack so they can't defend with it to stuff up your Phantasmoclasm. However, if not, you could be putting another card down there. You might not be worried about this, but this is coming through for a nine attack. It's three defense. This is a one pitch. It's a majestic. It's a fantastic card. No doubt Illusionist is going to be playing three of these in their deck. And it's, well, look at that picture. Like, the guy riding that whole bunch. Of, I think it's a Shimmera, I would think. Yeah. Crazy, crazy card. Let's take a look at the next card, which was on my reveal, the Dreamweavers, working well with this Phantasmoclasm. So they released this card first, which came out, and then mine came out. Destroy Dreamweavers. The next Illusionist Attack action card you play this turn loses and can't gain Phantasm. Look at that. Phantasm was the whole thing of blocking it with an attack action card with six or more attack. You take that off Phantasmoclasm and it does not uh, destroy it. So it's pretty crazy. I was really happy with this reveal. At first, didn't look like much, but when you put it in line with all of the cards, oh my goodness, fantastic. It also has Spell Void 1. You can destroy Dream Reavers if you do prevent one arcane damage that Source would deal. Pretty much coming to end game with that. If you're, if that life matters that much that you need to break these and so be it. You may have used all your Phantasms. Who knows? But it's, it's like a little extra, yeah? You most likely would just take this just for the fact that it removes the Phantasm. All right, Prismatic Shield. Create three spectral shield tokens. Now remember the spectral shields are very much just preventing one damage, yeah? When it comes across, you destroy the spectral shield. This is creating three. It costs three, pretty nice. And it's an instant, so you can play it on the opponent's turn if you wish. Yeah, fantastic, I like it. All right, Parable of Humility. The great thing about Prismatic Shield is it's not just arcane damage. It's just any damage. You destroy a Spectral Shield to prevent one damage. So that can be arcane or normal. Fantastic, yeah? Let's get back into Parable of Humility. So, attack action cards controlled by an opposing hero have neg one while attacking and defending. Oh, man! How good! Like, this is an aura, so it stays in play. They put it at the beginning of their turn and neg one while attacking and defending. This is great. Now, Spectra, Parable of Humility, can be attacked. So it stays in play until it's attacked. When Parable of Humanity becomes a target of an attack, destroy it and close the combat chain. The attack does not resolve. So any bonuses that may come from the attack do not resolve because you're getting rid of this that turns out to be nothing yeah so i love the way they've actually done this this stays in play giving a neg one which really matters for when people are going to look to defend their attacks and defense so let's get neg one so they might want to be getting rid of this already illusionist is turning out to be annoying as hell yeah and that is just the genius of what LSS has done with this. Like, 
they've created the class for illusionists and you even get the feel of these illusions being in front of you you don't know what to really go for do you go for the hero do you go for these illusions and these illusions are just buying time for the illusions to hit you with more stuff pretty crazy uh, i really didn't expect illusionists to be like this and i'm really amazed and impressed like full full credit to lss for what they've created here merciful retribution i love how also these cards their artwork they they move from this beautiful classic style of something that is so rich in texture and graphic to very much the two-dimensional look with the almost pastel colors very reminiscent of like some type of stained glass window yeah just like this one whenever an aura or attack action card you control is destroyed deal one arcane damage to the target hero so putting this out there it does cost four if it's a non-token light card put it into your hero's soul wow nice and spectra can be attacked if it is attacked the um, attack does not resolve and this is destroyed so yeah that's a four cost yet to be seen how this plays i think illusionist is going to be quite an interesting uh class we do need to see it in action and stuff such as a four cost like this how easy will they be able to get that off i don't know but wow it, it, this is yet just an annoying thing especially if you're low in life and they've cast this and other illusions are out that you need to get rid of because they're stuffing you up big time yeah it's whew, really lays it on ode to wrath another one of these stained glass window type looks yeah whenever a source you control deals damage to an opposing hero they lose a life so not only are they taking damage you're also losing a life for each one this is another four cost so pretty expensive illusionist attack action cards you control have go again boom now that is amazing so the so these are the illusionist instant cards that have this type of border it seems we've got the attacks coming on with this purplish type banner yeah so a card like this comes in as an aura giving things like this which you don't want to see being a nine attack go again yeah oh wow yeah very nice also has spectra needs to be taken out yeah very nice genesis all right at the start of your turn you may put a card from your hand in your hero soul if it's an illusionist card create a spectral shield token if it's a light card draw a card amazing another four cost card so yet to be seen how easy these cards are going to be played we haven't seen the full list of cards although there has been a sneak peek of some booster openings so some extra cards that have not been revealed as yet it's going to be really interesting to see how well they can manage their resources to be getting four out there yeah very nice also needs to be attacked to be getting rid of rid of otherwise they're going to keep getting these bonuses especially that draw a card wow especially you know you destroy something there theirs and they draw a card from it nasty nasty now blinding beam now these cards i just found in the list of the gallery which i hadn't seen put up on the fa fan page so let's go through them these are light instants which i thought was uh, relevant to the illusionist class binding beam costs one less to play if it targets a shadow card target attacking or defending attack action card gets neg three so if they're looking to do block your phantasms you can put this down as an instant to give a neg three look it's a common so it's going to come through as a neg two and a neg one as well neg one might be enough playing those blue cards especially when illusionist needs resources i think this is going to be a staple of the deck he is defending a shadow card so most likely sideboard but wow great card phantasmify the next attack action card you play this turn is illusionist in addition to other class types and gains plus five attack and phantasm wow so the next attack action card you play this turn so that really opens up the generic cards as well if you are playing them to push some more damage and at some point we're going to be comparing these cards especially with illusionists to try and find some good matchups yeah and this is going to be one of those at a plus five you can literally be putting blue card blue attack cards into your deck 
by playing this, giving them a plus five. Yeah, it does get Phantasm, but you're coming through for these big attacks while still retaining your four, uh, three pitch value on the blues. Fantastic, yeah. Nice card, rare. Mm. And the other ones will come through with a plus four and a plus three. So even at a plus three, blue with blue attacks, this is gonna be great, yeah? Really setting up for them to have a whole list of blue cards. Enigma Shim Shimmera. Just has Phantasm, but look at that attack, people. You're paying two. This is a red for eight attack. Magnificent with a three defense. Great card. Illusionist action, yeah? So no doubt we're hoping to see some Illusionist character in the future, which isn't just an, a light Illusionist, yeah? Very nice. And the last card that we have for today is Spears of Surreality. Surreality? Whichever, all right. Phantasm and go again. Boom! One cost, five attack, three defense. It's a common, so it's gonna come in yellow and blue for a four and a three. Great, the fact that it's got go again is just amazing, yeah? Just keeps things going, keeps you as an opponent guessing, and I love the artwork on this. Just another illusionist action, wow. All right, people, that's our video for today. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you love the channel, just start subscribing. It really helps us out. That one thumbs up and that uh, follow really means a lot to us, and it's just a second of your time. If you've got any comments on anything that I missed or you want to add anything to the cards that I put up, yeah, put it down in the comments. Love the comments and I reply to everything. All right, until the next video, have a great one, guys, and see you till then. See you all.